Let's pray. Father, we give all the glory to you in this place tonight. And we know that tonight's teaching will be beneficiary of it. It will bring life back to our homes. Tonight's teaching will dispel the devil from the corridor of our homes. By the time the teaching will be ending tonight, everything about us as husband and wife will be totally cleared for. Thank you, Father, for the answer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to briefly talk on 12 keys to your husband's heart. Twelve keys to your husband's heart. Generally speaking, women do not know that there are keys that can open the hearts of their husbands. And that's why tonight's teaching is essential. There are things you need to know as a wife. If your, 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 your place in your husband's heart will not be taken over by someone else. I'd like us to turn our Bibles into the book of Psalms. See, Psalm 45. Psalm 45. Verses 10 and 11. Verses 10 and 11. Let me pardon those who are leaning down. Go back to your seat and remain standing. Thank you. That one is okay. Amen. Hacken, O daughter, and consider and incline thy ear. That is silly. Forget also thy own people and thy father's house. So shall the king greatly desire thy beauty. For he is thy lord. And worship thou him. This is a serious instruction to a wife. That the moment you become a wife, the Bible says that you should consider. Consider. See what is there, sir. Don't interpret your own. Psalm 45, verse 10. Hacken, O daughter, and consider. Interpret what is written there. No. Follow me. You see the comma and comma and comma there. As it is in, in, in English Bible, so also it is in Yoruba Bible. The first thing there. Oh, I got to one. Be hacking, O daughter. Only that is sile Omo bring. If you are a wife, see your bag there. Yawo, you must learn how to listen. How to listen to your husband. How to listen to your husband. Some husbands can be stammering. That they are like stammerers when they are talking. And it takes some measure of patience to listen to a stammerer when he is talking. 
Here the Bible is saying you are to study your husband. And understand your husband inside out. The Bible says, Aken, O daughter. And then number two, and consider. Now, many women do not think or does not think the way they ought to. If you know that you will not marry twice, you need to think. If you know that this man is the only husband I have, you need to think. No other man anywhere. This is the only man God has given me. Why must you consider? You are to consider his ways. You are to consider his thoughts. You are to consider about his part. The part he has chosen to go. The career he has chosen to follow. And then the Bible says, incline thy ear. Most wives, they are quick to speak. They are slow to hear. Very, very quick, swift to speak, but slow to hear. If you say you are a wife, learn this verse of the scripture by heart. And then it goes to say, Forget also thy own people. Most broken homes today is as a result of the wife not leaving her younger ones but bringing the faith, the believism, and the conclusion and advices from her younger ones into her own matrimonial home that will not do her any good. And once that pain continues like that, the home will break. And then he says, and thy father's house. You are to forget your father's house. You are to forget your people. Not that you are going to forget them completely. But what the Bible is saying is this. You must never allow any of your relatives to intrude into a matrimonial home. Because you are the one that will live in that home. Remember, in uh, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 1. Proverbs 14, 1. A wise woman built her own house. From that statement, we got to know that it isn't all women that are wise. Your relationship with your husband determines whether you are wise or you are foolish. And let every wife be told that first and foremost, your husband loved you, that was why he married you. He saw so many people appears to be much more beautiful, you know, advanced in life, advantageous in life, and opportuned in life better than you are before he opted for you. Therefore, you must understand him. 
Forget your house. Forget your mother's house. Forget your father's house. You are to also forget your siblings. Once you are married, you will be taking your matter to your speech, to your siblings. It will never help you. Because if they are not born again, they, they will counsel you against the will of God. The Bible says, as a wife, whatever you may be facing your husband's house, if you say you are a Christian, you are not expected to take it back home and take what you are facing, your experiences, your odds and scenario. You are not expected to take it back to your father or to your mother. Another thing is this. Don't forget that your parents are wiser than you do. They were into marriage before you. You are one of the products, many products that God has given them in marriage. They have vast knowledge, wider understanding than you could ever imagine. When you have opportunity to visit your mother or your father as a wife, it isn't the time for you to sit down and be talking the day you, you ate a pub. The day the, the, the young was not enough in your home. It shouldn't be. And if you are not wisdomic, these people, your parents, they will whine you. They will wind you up. And what you never expected to say, you will say more than that. And then you will leave them in a perpetual state of despair. Despair, despair, fear. Once you leave home for your husband's house, no. When by the time you leave your husband, your parents to go back to your husband's house, your parents will no longer be sleeping fine back at home. They will say only God can tell what my daughter is facing over there. The problem of marriage can be very many. And so marriage is, is an institution on its own. It's an institution. It's a school on its own. And you have to learn and keep on learning. And marriages can two marriages can never be the same. You can never find any marriage on earth that is as the same of someone else's where. This is part of God's uniqueness. A man born by a separate parent. And a man born by a separate parent. And a, a woman born by a, se a separate parent. And being brought up separately by different parents. And both of them now come together to be husband and wife. With different backgrounds and upbringing in their, in their mindset. It, it certainly requires understanding and maturity to live together in peace or else beforehand 
the home will scatter. Lot ito, lot igbe fe lwa la fia. Yo ni lo iwa agba ati agba o lorun bi be ko idile na atuka. The Bible says in verse 11. Bi be le so funny ese kokon la. So shall the king greatly desire thy beauty. Be ni oba yo fe e wa re gidigidi. See, if you are the type, you are talking about your husband there, talking about your husband over there, and you expect that man to still believe in you and relate with you as if you are a saint, it can be. So, if you are a saint, you can be a saint. If you are a saint, you can be a saint. If you are a saint, you can be a saint. If you are a saint, you can be a saint. If you are a saint, you can be a saint. If you are a saint, have uh, some feelings. When you put him where he belongs, when you put your husband where he belongs, Amen. Amen. You will discover that you will enjoy the home. If your husband is crying at home and you come to church singing, you have come in vain. If what you have said to your husband is what is making him to cry at home and to lose his peace, and you say, well, I, I'm going to heaven. You have no heaven you are going, and of course I agree with you. You are going to heaven. Hell fire is part of heaven that you are going. Ti inu oko re ba si mbaje to si nsokun lo tori ori oro ti o so wa so si wa so pe ko kan mi mo ni orun ti emi lo mo gba pelu re orun to nlo ni orun apa so shall the king greatly desire thy beauty be ni oba yo fe e wa re gidigidi for he is thy lord can you imagine that ijo le ma wo bibeli so ri pe nitori ohun ni oluwa re can you understand that so le ni oyo le as a wife you are gege bi yawo that your husband is like a lord over you oko to fe o dabi oluwa lori re ni you know i told us sometimes ago most of one igba kan ri as a lady gege bi odomobirin if you know you don't want anybody to control you don't bother yourself about marriage ti o ba fe ni keni ki o se akoso the moment you are married, there are so many things you love doing as a spinster that will not work after marriage again. Bukoni a wong koto masaba afe la ti she ni ba ti o ti lokon subon ni sin to ti segbe ya wo ule si se mo. A spinster may decide not to cook and eat bread for dinner. O mi don ti o ti lokon o e pino ko maston je pa ti be bredi. Or take pap and beans, uh, bean cake. But it, once you are married, you say it's already late. And the man is saying, I still want to eat to the kitchen you are going. You are to go there. If you are to keep the peace and the vibrary of the home together. The Bible says, and worship thou him. You understand that? So many women do not understand this. They say, I can't kill myself. I have tried more than enough. If you have tried more than enough, this man will not complain again. That's part of the man. Part of the men's character that women must understand. Some women will say, Mama so and so, she's not facing what I'm facing in my home. How do you know? Do you live in the same house with her? Oh, you are believing the tales you people talk together on the way to the market. Please don't believe that. Some of the women you call your friend as a good wife, they are facing hell in their houses. But they won't tell you. They will want to scatter and separate the peace in your home if you are that gullible at heart. Before now, a particular woman called my wife and was canceling her against me. 
to make things difficult for me that I appear fine I wear I mean suit almost every day and I look so corporate but uh, my wife would just be wearing Ankara here and there that I, I refuse to take good care of her. And to the best of my knowledge and ability, by the very special grace of God, then I was doing the little I can do. And I must also admit the fact that my wife is a good wife. She doesn't complain. My wife does not know how to complain. She is highly contented. On the day of my wedding, my mother, my mother-in-law, bursted into tears. And she said something I will never forget in my life. And every day I see that in the life of my wife. I reserve it. But it's a positive statement. And that gives me consolation. Very many ministers that got to know my wife. They called me separately. My wife is hearing this now for the first time. And they will say, Ah, thank God for you. You did not marry another man's wife. You married your wife. You know what it means to marry another person's wife? It's a great trouble at home. And God is saying, you and I must team up together as couples and build our home. And I, I dare to let you know that the responsibilities of a wife at home outweighs that of a man. The moment a worthy wife gets sick at home, Everything in the home is sick along with her. I cannot imagine my wife now being unable to cook. Who will cook? I won't cook anything. Everybody will be taking Gary. They will take Gary. Amen. They'll just be taking Gary here and there. Amen. Amen. God wants us to live together in peace. And as a woman, what does it mean to worship your husband? You are to reference him. You are to prefer his well-being to your own. You know what it means? You will have wished it were you that, that was sick rather than your husband getting sick. That's what the Bible is saying here. And uh, you think this is the complete Bible study outline in your hand tonight. By the time I am true with us tonight, then you will understand that the hand of God and the grace of God is still working wonders in our midst. Can I hear your believing amen? Amen. Twelve keys to your husband's heart. Men can be very, very stubborn, healthy, and critical at times. Many a times, men can be very, very unreasonable in their homes. Because of too many challenges they confront here and there. Of which they cannot just come to you and be sharing it once they get home. It will also require a reasonable wife 
to reason reasonably with a husband. When you discover that your husband is moody, and then he is folding himself like alphabet five. Amen. Amen. You are to study him and bring out the joker that can open his heart again and reassure him that all hope is not yet. It is not yet lost. The number one key that can open your husband's heart any day. Genuine salvation and practical Christian living. If your husband knows you are genuinely born again and you are living a consistent Christian life, that man will not be critical to you. Number two, application of the spiritual fruit. Amen. Amen. As it is written in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. Let's go there. Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Joy. Peace. Long suffering. Gentleness. Goodness. Faith. Meekness. Temperance. Against such there is no law. Number three. Study his mood before asking your questions. When your husband comes in, you study his mood. Isn't a joyful mood? Or is in a sad mood? Does he feel disappointed coming home? Or he feels insecure coming back home? Look at him very well. Why would I die? Because God has given you the women the ability to perceive and to perceive in the right way. Before you table any request, you can imagine a man who was sat in the place of work and he was coming back home with a sack letter in his pocket and as he's entering, you just told him, well, there's no, there's no uh, uh, palm oil in the house and then, in fact, they sent your, your children from school today and they said school fees on Monday or else they are not going to pay. Ever before you say welcome, what kind of a wife are you? yourself that question ask yourself such a question what kind of a wife am I? Study your husband's mood before asking your question. Number four. Be interested in his dressing and outing. Be interested in his dressing and outing. Outfit. Outfit. Do you know from husband they don't know how to dress? You as a wife, you are expected to be his mirror. I say honey. Oh, uh, you say dear. Uh, you say MD. MD. Or you say mine. Whatever pet name you have chosen to be calling each other. Amen. 
Amen. Ever since we got married, I have never called my wife by the name of any of our children. I have called my wife by the name of any of our children. And I don't know when I will learn that. I don't know when I will learn that. Because the moment you begin to call your spouse by the name of any of your children, gap is being created in the pedal of your love. That is the attitude of unbelievers. Therefore, you need to know what your husband is wearing before leaving for office in the morning. Only let him walk in and cut your hair. When you are shocked to the other day, lost his vision. That your husband is is, uh, is is dressed up, ready for office, and you still cover your head with wrapper and say, "Well, bye bye, see you in the evening." And that uh, your husband is wearing, you know, a, a native trouser with tie and shirt. Talking. With canvas. Can you imagine that? Ma And as the man is going in the in the, in the open place. Everybody began to dodge him. Be careful, he's a madman. Be careful, he's a madman. And the man is ready for his office. With his laptop, he is a I am coming kind of a bag. And everybody was dodging him. And the man doesn't even care. To him, he's on top of the world. One abuse goes to him, ten goes to you as a wife. Number five. Don't argue. Don't nag. Don't be confrontational. Don't fight. Don't impose your voice views on him. Don't impose. You see, if you want to impose anything on your husband, you are not only missing it, you are destroying and jeopardizing the future peace of the family. Women should understand that your peace in that home is not an immediate one. You must be working towards a lasting peace in your home as a woman. And this is why so many women they want to do something separately, you no, know, so that the husband will not know. To them, they never can tell whether I will last in his hand or not. Because they are not Don't argue. If you are argument, you know, argumentative as a woman, your husband will not love you. If you nag as a wife, so many things your husband will hide away from you. If you are confrontational as a woman, your husband will be looking outside. When we talk about outside looking, it has it's not limited to sex and flirting around alone. The man will start keeping late night, late night. You just discovered that he will not come back home again until small, small, uh, small, small timing like uh, 1 a.m., 
2 a.m., 3 a.m., in the dead of the night. And everybody has gotten to know that this is your husband coming. If you are like that, so many people will be abusing you in the neighborhood. To ba ti wa je wa ren pe nse lo ma n gbe japo oko loju o wa ri gbe oko re ko wa ni pa tete pada wole mo awon ago kekeke bi ago kan ago meji gbogbo adugo bo ba de ti wa fon le kun wa ti mo pe oko ya lagbaja ni ago kan oru before he comes back home ko to di pe pada wole because he doesn't want any noise again nitori pe oko yi o fe yago fun to je aruwo most reasonable men they don't want people to know when they come in and neither do they want anyone to know when they go out but there you are your husband kept on changing accommodation before the 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 one you paid for here loves is the man is changing the environment again because you are vilifying him you idiot him you argue with him you are confrontational you nag him and you make you box him into a corner with your tongue if you are like that you will never enjoy your home as a wife Shubman ni tori awon iware lati ma gbe japo oko re loju o ti wa so di oni baje eniyan oko yi na ko wa le gbe laarin adugbo mo o ti wa di pe ko ma wa parole ko to di pe owo to so fun awon ile na won ti e to lo pare don't fight maja don't impose your views on your husband awon erongba re ma fi agidi kan mo oko lori gbo gbo do se number 6 ikefa prayer and fasting adura ati awe I once read a book about Mrs. Catherine Booth. I also read another book concerning her husband, General William Booth. This man, he wrote it in his book that God gave me my own wife. Then, when I read the book of his wife, the wife said in her own book, I never for once argued with my husband. And I never confronted her. I, I never did that. And she said, my greatest weapon towards my husband is prayer and fasting. Whatever I want him to do, I go down on my knees. And before I am done in that prayer, my husband is giving me already. Wife, why don't you convert nagging, fighting, to prayer and fasting? Kilo de ti o wa yi ori kikun. Lati ma agbeja kolo ju ati ija. Ko si wa yi pada, sinu adua ati awe. Since you have been fighting and nagging, what have you, what have you achieved? Kini nkan to wa yi gba, lati igba to ti ngbeja ko oko re lo ju to si nsi ori kukun si. Now, why can't you have some changes? Have some changes, some changes. Change the gear. That's what I mean. So use an, another idea. Amen. Amen. Allow fighting and nagging to go. Kiss them. Bye bye. And then you switch over to fasting and prayers. Asking the Lord to soften the heart of your husband. Implanting your love afresh in his heart. It is possible. Somebody asks Wigglesworth. Somebody asked from Smith Wigglesworth. Smith Wigglesworth. Said, please, can you tell us the secret of your success, phenomenal success in ministry? And Wigglesworth answered promptly. Network, network, network. You will never succeed as a wife if you don't learn how to kneel before the Lord. 
iwo gege bi iyawo o ni mo ohun ti an pe lati se asiyori bi o ba mo bi ase nkunle ni waju olorun and if you do if you do not succeed as a wife you will never succeed as a mother bi o ba le se asiyori gege bi iyawo o ni se se fun lati se asiyori gege bi iya the responsibility of motherhood outweighs that of a wife oju se lati je iya o wa ru o gbuboju lati je iyawo lo the first time you met this man you met him in a pencil trouser and uh, a shirt whose gator can cut off someone's ears if you are careless oba ni oba pade ninu sokoto soro ati awon sati to pe gator re o le be ni lowo bi eniyan ba ja lafara and now ni sin you got married to him you got pregnant o ti wa loyun the responsibility in pregnancy is minimal Oju se ni igba ti awo ma ni ngba to ba loyun okere when you give bad so mo to ba wa bi motan you will like to sleep at times the child will not allow you to sleep o fe sun ni igba mi sugbon omo ore o ni faye igba lati sun still your husband will be demanding some effort from you to do certain things for him sibe sibe oko re yo ma bere awon okun kan lowo re lati se awon kan kan fun there comes a time in the life of a mother that your head will be making unnecessary noise with, without anybody shouting or making noise around you ngba kon ma wa ye ninu je aye awon iya to pe ori de yo saba yo ma wa lago lai se pe enikan wa to nfi aruwo di olowo needs here needs here needs here needs there nitori pe o ma ro awon aini lotun aini losi aini leyin the husband is calling you your children they, they are calling you by the very special grace of god you will succeed as a wife and as a mother oh she as she yori gege bi ya wo ati gege bi ya number seven ikj understanding and interest in his view and ideas ni oye ati lati ni ife si inu awon erungba re ati agbe kale re concerning your husband ni pa oko re ni when you understand his interest and you you also respect his views ni igba tu o ba no ye ife okan re to si tu bola fun awon agbe kale ati erungba re you are opening the heart of your husband effortlessly on to nse ni pe nse lo nse okan oko re sile lai lagun number 8 ikejo neatness and wisdom in talking iwa 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 ti eh iwa imototo imototo ati ogbon ninu oro siso amen amen neatness neatness and wisdom in talking imototo ati ogbon ninu oro siso don't be dirty as a wife ma doti gege bi iyawo don't be dirty as a mother ma doti gege bi iya be neat je eni to mo to be neat mo to to learn how to live neatly ko bi a se gbe ni mo to to everything about two must be neat gbogbo to ba ni se pelu re o gboro je i mo to to a mother gege bi iya you see not until you have your wardrobe filled up with diversities of clothes different colors ko digba ti o ba ni kan board re to ku fun orisirisi awon aso ati awon awo amen amen before you can become a neat woman ko to di pe o wa di obirin to ni mo toto you may not have more than three skirts aso re o le ma ju skirt bi meta lo god forbid in jesus name sugbon ko olorun ma je ka ri ru e loruko jesus and then you may not have more than uh, four rappers on to ku oku o le ma je ju iro merin lo you may not have more than uh, you know the undies may not be too many awo tele o le ma po o le ma ju meji lo but tidy them up you know frequently sugbon bo se mo ni won yi o je ki won wa ni imo toto ni igba gbogbo some of them you soak la ri la ra won o ki bonu eh o ki bonu omi ose amen i mean for some days for awon ojo before you wash them again ko to di bo for won and there are some you need to dry clean under the sun awon mi ran si wa to ni lati sa sinu orun to kill some germs lati je ki awon egbinu re ko ku danu you must be neat oni lati wa ni mo toto if you are not neat as a wife bi o ba je oni mo toto gege bi iyawo if you have to go for a function with your husband he may dodge you and go secretly ti o ba ni lati tele oko re jade lo si ibi sise oko re o le yera fun won 
Can you imagine a woman going for function without a bra? Can you imagine that? And this day will just be sweeping and greeting everyone. The people you need to greet and the people you not you, you don't have to greet. This thing is not greeting one. A boy of ten years old. Uh, how are you, madam? The thing is greeting him too. Hmm? It's bad. You Oda. must be neat. Only let the journey more to talking. Be A reasonable. Don't talk to your husband as if your husband is your younger brother. Don't talk to your husband as if your brother is your senior uh, as if your husband is your senior brother. There are some wives, they honor their brothers better than their husband. You are not wise. I want Yawoko or what of if I bro or duty or come along to buy your baby bell. Oh, you must honor your husband better than your parents. Oh, one of you or walk or red, you are won't be to be when that takes place. Deadly Boba Shelley, there is nothing your husband will not do for your parents. For what is in cannot your correct your relationship for a woe be to be generally speaking, men are proud. Gagabo say, yeah. God made them that way. They carry their ego and they respect their ego, particularly before their wives. Abuse thoughts that men will endure outside. He won't take it in his own house. Number nine. Appreciation. Learn how to appreciate him. Amen. Amen. Ten. Ikewa superb managerial skill. I want Managerial skill. Amen. Yes. You must learn how to manage things properly at home. Oh, but the more be ashamed, she has also lori a one can learn to mind your lori. You cook an excess soup and you refuse to put it in the freezer. The next day, the soup is bad, turns sour, and you go to pour it away. Eh, will I eat that one? I don't eat it where I come from. Where, where you are coming from? Are they the one who posted the money down to cook the, the soup? You want to just be your own, but to see your but to put on to jello ne, but to what the other? Oh, what be cannot be cooked? Be so you know, oh, 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 you must, you must eat to conserve. Don't eat to destroy. Eleven. Submission and preference. Amen. Amen. Twelve. Good food. Good Good church. And a good pastor. If you cook good food. For your husband. And you attend a good church. And God blesses you with a good pastor. Your husband will serve you in return. Now, when you read the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 31. Proverbs 31. You will see the catalog of a virtuous woman there. I pity those who do not read Bible. How would they be wise? And how can they walk perfectly before God? I also pity those who read the Bible without practicing what they read. Because of my time, I will read in English alone from verse 10. Proverbs 31 from verse 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. You see that? 
she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She stitched, sorry, she seeketh wool and flax and walketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant's sheep. She bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands she planted a vineyard. She gathered her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. She perceived that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. That's prayer. That's fasting. Her candle does not go out by night. She laid her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the, the distaff. She stretched out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reached forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household. For all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tape spray. Her clothing is thick and purple. Her husband is known in the gate when he seated among the elders of the land. She maketh fine lining and selleth it and delivereth gadus unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing. You see that? Ola atiokun onia shotowo. Can you see that? Strength and honor are her clothing. Not talking with a razor mouth. And she shall rejoice in time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom. Not foolishly. And in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looked well to the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness. You will never see a worthy wife removing, taking plate from one house to house, begging for food. Here is your soup ready. Hey, Mama Wale, give me another food. You are not wise. You are failed. If Mama Wale did not go to market and buy soup ingredient, where will she get food or soup to give to you? She looked well to the ways of her household. Have you eaten? Are you okay? That's a worthy wife. And eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also. And he preceded her. You see that? Many daughters have done virtuously. But thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful. And beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord. She shall be praised. Give her, give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her where? In the gate. The B part. Abla Bire. Twelve keys to your husband's heart. It's not there in your hand. Number one. Akoko. Total submission in everything. Number two. Ekeji. Be fond of your husband everywhere. Be fond of him. Anywhere you get to talk about your husband. And talk good things about him. Don't say, ah, uh, the one I even, the one I put at home. Is, is, is your husband you are referring to? Even the one I put at home cannot talk to me like that. Talking to your husband like that. Amen. Amen. And some wives will even say, Never, he would, she would do like this, wave her hand to the face of the husband. Never, never, never in your life try that with me. You have failed as a wife. What you are doing as a spinster, now after you had three children, you are still behaving like that. You better pray so that you will last in that house. Number three, acceptance and appreciation. 
You must accept your husband and also appreciate him. Before I proceed, let me talk about things to appreciate in your husband. Number one, his faith and stand in the Lord. Don't be the one that will make your husband to backslide. As a Christian woman, you must believe and you must appreciate the faith of your husband and his stand in the Lord. There are some women like you who are equally married like you. They have children like you. Whose husbands are married to beer parlors and pepper soup joints. And when it's your common tea at the fee pepper soup at the year to be one they've eaten another vegetable somewhere else. What is Lord Jeff or you know, you know, they don't come home at all. One, what won't you? Well, you know, some of them they come, they come home like a beer that is drunk. I want to mean, but I want to be a lady. Oh, you feel what you be on you and come back home. What's the part of a lady and be vomiting? No, your husband is not like that. You need to appreciate him. Number two, Ekeji. you appreciate his person. Oh, Moriri, you win your today. Yes, his person, a die. Oh, Moriri, a day or today. A boring. Amen. Amen. You appreciate his person. Oh, boring. You fool, you die in your What do I mean? Kidding, Monson. His height. Gigare. Amen. Amen. Don't say, oh, come, you can't. Don't come, you can't. Hey, but what if I do not to offend you? What people are saying, my baby, you know, do not say, I'm married to a short man devil. You are married to him, and you will continue to stay with him for the rest of your life. Oh, you're coming, what good, get beer, or lot of money. The head of my husband is so long. That's what you are married to, and there's nothing you can do to him. You're coming, come, but ta ta, need to go, get this, buy, and you're left with ten cup of pamas, you're going to offend the I don't know why his leg is so like this. And even one can successfully hide the coins there. That's what you have to manage. Your coming, but coming by what into fellow fellow and tell on that's your like that. My husband is not fitted in dressing. That's what you have married to. Then you continue with it like that. So coming back, what's your air marrow? Where you can't go get your own money. When my husband dressed, you will see that his shoulder is raised at the order. And you will tell like that God Does your husband that my husband is uh, bending like a deflated tires. Uh, that the Gido is even more goodly looking when he dress. If you are not careful, you will fornicate. You must appreciate his height. Oh, God of Moriri Gigare. Appreciate his color. Oh, God of Moriri Eware. Appreciate his gift. Oh, God of Moriri Ebutoni. Appreciate his advice. Oh, God of Moriri Igbani Morore. Appreciate his look. Oh, God of Moriri Wuwore. Amen. Amen. If your husband is having a drop eye, no problem. Appreciate him. If your husband is looking at you, it's like he sees something behind him. Don't worry. That's your husband. Appreciate him. You know what I mean? That he's looking straight to you. And sometimes you are greeting him. He didn't see you because he's actually looking at this place. And appreciate him. Appreciate him. Didn't see you. Hey, I appreciate him like that. You must appreciate his dressing. Men, there are some men they know how to dress. When they dress up and they are going, women appreciate them. And most women think that how I wish this is my husband. So, men that are in the service tonight, please learn how to dress and dress well. 
The meat. Let people praise your wife on your behalf. And then appreciate the neatness of your wife. The neatness of your wife. And the general uniqueness that God has given to your husband. Appreciate that. The sense of, of responsibility. Amen. Amen. You must appreciate that in your husband. You must also appreciate his boldness and maturity. You must appreciate his job and career. You must appreciate the focus and, and belief of your husband as a father you must appreciate that in him amen i mean if your husband is having a focus and is is having a belief over a particular thing as a good wife you want to get your to that appreciate him for that oh marie so long those things does not contradict the will of god and then you need to appreciate your husband over the choice he has made decision he has made and the pursuit is making very important not only that number four he caring always see things from his perspective let allow your husband to hit the wall before you correct him amen amen now look up here women are the neck why husbands men they are the head amen amen now neck oh cannot see Neck. Oh, cannot hear. Neck. Oh, does not talk. Neck. Oh, neck. You see. Oh, don't worry. Turns wherever it wants. Oh my, you see, be keep it over. But neck bears load speechlessly. So more. Amen. Amen. You will praise them. Allow women to explain and talk about how pregnancy looks like in the tummy. Then you will praise them. In this head, you see. You will see the ears. You will see ears, two ears. You will see nose. You will see eyes. You will see eyes. You will see eyelashes. You will see mouth. In mouth alone. You will see two lips. Inside the mouth. You will see teeth. Thirty-two in number. Inside the mouth, you see tongue. Inside the mouth, you see saliva. And then inside the nose, you see moko. Then you also see some ears growing up. What does that mean? Why as the neck for this man? What the neck cannot see, the eyes is seeing it. And in the head alone, you see ears. You will see score. Then when you break the score, you will see brain in layers. Meaning that the neck cannot see the eyes is seen. The head is seen. The neck cannot hear the ears in the head. Hears for the neck. And don't forget that the brighter you see, the faster you move. If the eyes is are blind, if the eyes are blind, the neck too will hit the wall. If the ears are blocked, 
the sister will come upon the neck. If the head is sick, the sickness of the neck will multiply. There are so many things that can bring sickness upon the head. Misunderstanding. Nagging. Unforgiveness. Revenge. And then uh, pushing a man to a corner. Joblessness. Being out of pocket. And then no connection anywhere. And the man feels dejected, rejected, forsaken, and bamboozed. At that point, the head is sick. And the neck we feel it most. Allow your husband to rest. Amen. Amen. Number five. Never shout on him. Number six. Respect and honor his decision. Number seven. Practical and expressible love. Number eight. Availability and spirituality. Number nine. Encouragement and reassurance. Number ten. Diligence. Number 11. Never make him feel as if he is not responsible. Your husband. Don't ever make him feel he's irresponsible. Number 12. All round care. And how do you do that? Number 1. Help him tidy up his wardrobe. Number two, help him shine his shoes, wash his socks and undies. Number three, wash his clothes and do the ironing. Number, number, number four. He can, he can. Study his mood before tendering any request. It's Kod, coming up again. And another thing. Oh, man, oh, don't argue with him. Pray for him more than you do for him. Don't argue with him. Don't for him more than you pray for yourself. Allow him to tell you his mind. Don't he, jump to conclusion on his behalf. Never use question to answer his question. You are saying you are just saying you are saying me too. Let me ask you. Can you do it? Talk. Sorrow. Men hate things like that. Don't staff him. Some women are very, very terrible. Until they are hungry themselves. They don't know when to cook. It's wrong. If you're a Christian woman, you mustn't fail in that area. Don't prepare junks for him. Amen. You know that Yoruba people will say, what the husband does not eat, a good wife does not cook. I want you, Obama, to say, another thing, Omira. spice your food. Amen. Amen. You know, I once thought about this in a former place. About two years ago, about, I, I spoke about food, sex, and uh, clothing or appearance. Amen. Appearance. Amen. You receive any. Amen. 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 That you must prepare a conscious, deliberate delicacies for your husband. There are some husbands. They don't eat anywhere. 
until they get back home. But now when he gets back home, he's like Dangote was doing short promotion. Short promo. Now, the food, the soup like this, salt does not mix round. But one side is over salty. The other one, there is no salt at all. At the tail end of the soup, it is like every house in the house land. Just landed at Ileko and said, Madam, take this uh, 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 pepper and cook for your husband today. I don't know how to cook for your husband today. I don't know how to cook Not only that, you now make Amala. It looks like an island surrounded with water. And the man comes back home terribly hungry. Before he enters, he had already removed his suit. This is his dining okay? You, you too. He said, ah, yes, dining is okay. And you presented it. The man just said, oh, in Jesus' name. And pick one like this. Okay, oh, the ah, what is the place? Mama, take this thing away. And then rather than say, ah, I'm sorry. You too, you, you, you went to stand somewhere. An ingrate. I like Murieda. After all I suffered. <laughs> just know one day they will save me from your heart. You are not serious. Oh, man, don't you? I was in a place in a lorry. Not quite long. And they were talking about uh, Christian marriage. Once in so, and they came to this you. particular point. And the fellow leading them said, If you don't know how to cook, you can begin to pray and ask for the spirit of cooking. I, got, I was annoyed where I was. I got up. I took the microphone from him. Said it since when the Holy Spirit has become a, a food, food a tech. The Holy Spirit is now a food tech. <laughs> Tell such a woman, go back to your mother, go and spend three months with her. Let her reorientate you. Most wives that do not know how to cook, they were irresponsible as pistas under their parents. What they knew how to do was to paint, to paint the fingers, paint the mouth, paint the buttons, and paint the leg, and paint the ankle. That's what they need to do. Now, painting is no longer working. You are now married. You can't paint this one. If you don't know how to cook, you can lose that man. Or he will beat her out of you because you are wasting his money and it's not getting what he wanted. You go and visit your parents again. Oh Lord, be our Baba. I had a story of a lady who will never, before she got married, she will never go near kitchen. She will fold on three seats in the sitting room. And then they will be giving her a lot of jackujes to be eaten. Because she said she's in the uni one useless university. And then she got married. And did not know how to cook. And the mother wanted to cover up. The first month. Every day, the mother was cooking. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. But the mother will do that uh, trickishly before the husband arrives from work. But like the popular adage, every day is for the thief. One day for the owner. Mm. This man. Ha 
kept on pressing his wife. Oh, she and boring you. The very first day I sighted you. Oh, do I come to marry you? I just knew mm, this is the woman. Mama, if I ah adure obrinani. Okay. The day God we exposed the nyash of the woman. She go. I got the alarm. To my two ash you obrin. The husband arrived early. Oh, what did they do? The wife came. I mean, the the mother came. Yeah, the, no, mother, the mother, the yeah, mother, uh -huh. brought the food as usual. Oh, go, 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 a body shaki iwe lodi lodi iya ti di si gbogbe o ti pe no marriage ori e ti pa she did everything very well and the woman bought mm. a lot of sizes of cola and she prepared everything nicely okay. Mm. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. okay 1 plus 2 plus 2 minus 2 how much at the end of the day ni o pon gbogbo the the husband said oko wa down mama mama you have been the one cooking and I've been pressing your daughter. No problem. Don't bring food here again. If I return from the place of work tomorrow, and I eat any food here, I will not eat. My wife, I will stand like this, you will cook for me. And the wife said, ah, What do you take me for? It's so I can kick, I can kick. I can kick. So, he gave her money. He gave her money. And she cooked. And she really cooked. By the she really cooked. Oh, she gone. 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 By the time the food was ready, even herself could not eat. Oh, she gone. Oh, she gone. Oh, she Go back to you, dead. A castle storm and your juicy kitchen, you pay your batty fee. You're so better than pay your new to talk. You can't say, I can't say, I can't say, for what's your baby. Oh, okay, what's if you're so bad? Okay, what boy you're right? What's the right? Oh, what's he? Oh, what's he? Oh, what's he? Oh, better beg your for your meta. Oh, what was he? Oh, what's the right? If it wasn't, why won't you go to the kitchen? Lotto, some book, Lotto, book, we, Lotto, Ojino, a jay, book, we, butter, a jay, ya. She just prepared the food and what everything was warm. And he now dishes. Okay, the food is ready. Oro semo la eti kosemo ton ne no abo oti nyeme oti domi. She prepares semo even without the oti domi and it, the semo become water a uh, water red. Oh, can you put capo ya ka wajebe? Ah, what is this? Talk, 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 As the man take one, Musa, the husband sent her away. She went back to her father's house, spending six months to cook, to learn how to cook. Please don't be like that. If you cannot cook well, your husband can be snatched. Only jigbe lan. Biyoko, oh, ba mo be se. Wan le biyoko re lo. Because most men are only je pujes. Nkwe, a wan kouni kan wato, yekwe, mo biyoko be dun 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 ni wan. Eh? Praise God. Hallelujah. It's another thing. Oh, is that you must give him a neat environment. Oh, but of only a yekato wa ni moto. Yes, a neat environment. A yekato wa ni moto. The sitting room must be neat. Ile gbale jo yekbo do wa ni moto. The kitchen must be neat. Ile da no gbo do wa moto. Not that your tumbler, you taco everywhere on the tumbler. Say we will wash everything together in the weekend. Ah ah. Kin se pe tumbler mo mi e du yama yama oti yekbo oku yon se afo aba. Before weekend comes, you come. What happened? And he managed it. Oh, 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 Number one, go to a kitchen. Number two, go to a toilet. 
and then bedroom. Amen. Amen. You will know whether the woman is actually in it or not. Oh, Anybody can wear coco cashew. Still like this. Still like this. Like this. Still like this. Still like this. Anybody can do that. Anybody. When I follow you to your house, but trust me, I will not enter your room. You may grab me, so I'm not coming. I'm not coming. Amen. Uh, you may grab me. I'm not coming. But I will ask somebody, a woman. The toilet must be neat. By the very special grace of God, you can eat in my toilet. Believe you me honestly. Believe you me honestly. You can eat in my toilet. That's the way it ought to be. Neatness is close to godliness. You must be neat. As a wife. And everything I have said to women tonight, I have also said them to the men. Amen. Amen. We will go and pray at home. Let's welcome four questions and we close. Four questions. And then this Sunday by His grace, prepare all your questions at Sunday school. I have short exhortation for Sunday school. I want to really, really answer questions. This a wife and a mother in the house tonight who have a question. Can you just uh, come forward and ask your question? Come forward, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. Yes. Yes. In six lati ma she un konye bi pe ko pon wole ni sin ma ti wole ba pe ko bo bata si bi ko mu soku to ko bo sori sia ko mu ewu ko bo si so ko te to de ti mo bi pe e fe amen kini kini nkan ti tori e so e so bi pe eni bi pe ka ma ran won lowo lati ma ma tun yes there are there are husbands the question of our mommy is that if you are a neat woman but your husband is trying to sabotage your effort. When he comes in, he, where he will drop the shoe, that's not where he's going to drop the trouser. And he litters everywhere that you have tied it off. What do you do if you're a woman like that? Number one, every woman should know that your husband is your firstborn. It's your firstborn. Now, most men are reasonable. But they become much more reasonable when they get married. I don't know how this world will look like without women. Men will have been eating themselves. Men will have been eating themselves. So if you have a husband like that, you will. You will be mending him. You will be mending him. You help him carry the thing. And put it where it ought to be. See, it be to Women, let me tell you this. And you be boy. If a man wears a cap yesterday, be and he needs that cap tomorrow for his outing. 
and he doesn't see it. See body. The next person to come is his wife. And into my cup, only yawo. Where's my cup? Filamida. I see both of you have been wearing it interchangeably before. That's one thing. Men can be very, very reckless and careless. But not me. She walking same you. Ask my wife. I'm not joking. Jokes apart. <laughs> not me. Now you meet my shirt here. You meet my shoe here. What will they be finding there? Oh, I hate it with passion. I don't do it. I don't do it at all. Ask her. She's there. And she should not cover me. May I never teach what I am not doing? God forbid I won't do that. Oh, my wife is enjoying. My wife, she's enjoying. She knows. If my wife, we have to, we have the opportunity to come back to this world again. She will look for me. Be a woman, but in the of a wasi aye aye. I'm a woman. Clap for me, clap for me, clap for me. I have tried. Oh yes, have tried. Amen. Amen. She, I bet you will not look for me. She will look for me. Amen. I know she won't talk because uh, she understands that silence oh, is, um, is part of yes, sir. Ben, it mm. akaje lara iberi mm. ben. So men can be very, very... In fact, 99.9% of all men, they are classical pigs and he goats combined. Very, very, very dirty. dirty. Amen. Amen. Let them, let's take the sample now. Bring out your fingernails and let's see. Your fingernails, bring it out. Some of them looks like, you know, <laughs> chimpanzee. Or eagle that is that has been hungry for the past five days. Amen. Amen. No, I told you. Most of what? Most men. If not hundred percent, they don't wear pants. Amen. 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 They don't wear pants. Because they are dirty. And even if they want to wear pants, red, black, that's what they buy. Allah, my dear one, you want to do 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 that my tie to be pillow. Amen. Nothing like that. And that's why you see some men, please permit me now. You see some men, don't be doing like this. <laughs> some men with the bad habits. So in the, in fact, even in the church, look up, oh, some men will just do like this. I want to watch you, dear. Da, come out for walk up, you know, your lawn. You see, it's wrong. Oh, dear, Dara. Very, very wrong. So if you have a husband like that, you will still be mending him. Oh, Marco, be praying for him. Fighting and not and nagging will still not settle the problem. Because he feels that ah, uh, what do you mean? Some men are so lazy up to they if you take them to the bathroom as a wife to bait them, they will say thank you. Some men are like that. They are still uh, have become scum. Every part of their body is scum. You, you should be going, and your wife will tell her friend, Meet my husband. Oh, you're going to be. 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 Oh, Amen. 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 
you will not shave off, clean up, and even there will be some bed bug in your BS. And you will be like a fa- fine you gorilla. You shave clean. Oh, yeah, cool. Fine I want to come and want to get you. I want to get you. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. And then, what do you do? If you miss it, you will be like, oh, 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 Go back there, get the Emma Batala to go. He needs to stop it. Look at you, bro. Look at you, yeah. Just like that. No, I want to go come, I want to come. I don't know where Dada na be, Dada kona be. Oh, yeah, oh, go go get on that sicko. You know, I say what did Dada? So if you are like that, man. My second question goes like this. Say I understand me. Ija ati binu uli software. You will still be patient with them. Anything in the house, Second question. Okay. And so we pray to you and we come to you by Jaradi. And you like to call you and cut us from to share. Oh, yes. You know, like, Nisi, what will you pay in your own mood? Oh, yes, yes. What will you pay in your own mood? Oh, yes, yes. What will you pay in your own mood? Can you cut you? Oh, share. Can you cut you? 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 Amen. So, what did they in the moody form? Me or not to do the coroner? You as a worthy wife, you want to show concern. Get a be a woe to you, my lord, a bottle of thief, and the husband just flares up. See, I'm not going to be okay. What's your, what's your problem? Can you allow it? You are asking me that I don't look cheerful. Am I sitting on you? You please get lost. Lost on you when he talks like that. But by Jack was in down here, you say, Oh, I'm sorry. And am I being no? You won't even talk again. Hey, Jen, it's all right, man. By the time what is eating in his head goes out, he will be the one to look for you. Amen. Amen. Men are generally like that. I was still telling my wife. Most often, you are with me. I think a week ago, if I'm not mistaken. I, before I got married, sometimes, for three days, I might not talk to anybody. For three solid days, you will not see me. I can be in a place. You will not know that I am there. But when I got married, so I have to be adjusting little by little. And as I thank God for her, she was the one that God used to take me out of my shell. Because she would not say, you are not talking. Talk now. One yes, sorrow, sorrow. Talk now. Yes, sorrow. And then if I ever open my mouth to talk, I just tell her I'm putting two and two together. You remember? Two and two together. I'm putting two and two together. Men usually put two and two together, and in most cases, those two and two they are very wrong. Very, very wrong. I want one man, very, very wrong. And put two and two, two and two, you are putting together that equals zero. Amen. Amen. So, what we can do at that level is to leave him if you want to and then look for another thing that can cheer him up. Without calling him, you, you quickly dish his food, put like, it on the table. Like we want. You, what you know you can do that will relieve tension from him. That's what you can do. The beauty of teaching is the application of it. Once there is a teaching, apply it. If the home is red hot, you remember that message? When the home is red hot, 
when the home is red hot that the home is very red hot you have to keep quiet pray and ask for counsel from the lord amen amen then there are some husbands that are highly difficult and complex to understand no matter what you do you have not done anything according to them they wouldn't even mind waking you up with a kick oh, get up you are very lazy get up are you pretending that you are sick thank god that you married a man like me who have understanding get up <laughs> there are men like that. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Am I understood, man? Am I, am I seriously understood? God bless you, man. Amen. Another question. We want to bring it to a close. Yes, man. Okay. Another question here. Four. Yes, four. One woman here, one woman there. Yes, the other woman there. That settles it. So that we can go home on time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, 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 mommy actually asked one of the questions I wanted to ask. Okay. Pastor, that situation is actually much more frustrating than, than the way it has been explained. That's on my own side. So another question I want to ask is, as regards decision making in the house, um, views, ideas, and all that, I know of some homes that it is usually the, the ideas, the, the views of the woman that, that usually holds the family together. In a situation in which if the man manages to make any... The man, I don't know, maybe it's part of their inability to be reasonable or something. They just no, cannot... No, don't abuse men. Men no, are sir, reasonable. No, I am not abusing men. I'm just <laughs> trying to <laughs> ask a factual question okay in a situation in which it is the woman like even when it comes to decision making in the house it is still the woman that they will ask when it comes to doing things in the house it is the woman when it comes to uh, you want to go somewhere here when it, you know it's like everything apart from providing the money every other thing including decision making yes. is on the woman number so, one Number one, your husband trusts you. Number two, your husband has forgotten his people. Number three, the man knows that, yes, I got what I prayed for. To you, it's 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 bothersome. But that's the best for you. You don't understand? For such a woman, that is the best situation. You have never heard of a man whose wife cancelled. Good cancel. You are a mock. You want to kill me as your mother kill his fa- uh, no. your father. I'll tell you, I'm the boss of this home. You have never heard of a man like that. Oh, it's a in your way. Godly husbands. I want to you be alone. Listen to their wives frequently. And it is usually what the wife says they will do. If your husband is not doing like that to you as a Christian woman. Believe you me honestly, there is somebody somewhere miscanceling him. Your husband respects your view and believes that this is the only woman that completed me. I've told you, there are some husbands, they are genius. Genius wasters. Yes. When it comes to wasted things, ah, 
are they are genius. So by the way, fifty mm. pounds of food. So that that time until they get married. It is when they get married and they married the right person that the life of the man becomes better. Because when women perceive, they usually perceive rightly. If a woman tells you, that this one is not a friend. Though. If you are a wise man, don't, don't argue. Because, eh, okay, what do I do? The woman will tell you what to do. And it's going to help you. Amen. Amen. So it's never a problem. And it's never a weakness from your husband's side. I know you are just asking the question if a woman like that is this never a weakness from your husband's side. You should thank God for having a, a man like that. Finally, whenever your husband seeks for your view before taking any major decision in his life, he can never be instigated against you. Nobody can instigate him 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 against you. Nobody can instigate the woman do as a person in order for her not to be weighed down by all those household chores, thinking of things to do. I know, has been, how do we now raise ourselves up in a way that it will not weigh us down? You work on the spirit, the spirit man of your husband. By the time your husband grows expectedly in the Lord, then the Holy Spirit will take over the unnecessary responsibilities he pinned on you. Then your neck becomes lighter. God bless you. That's what you can do. You pray and walk over his spirit man. You just discover that the job becomes simple. Yes, ma'am. A question. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lack of commute, more people, my wife's sibling. Tori Queen, she rock on me. We must say, Joko, send the name of the female lossy people. A mere shiny picking marble. Benny, Miss Alone, shiny picking marble, Benny. By booster, the pay market to Betty, Mutuasi be by Gay Moani. Ah, we must shake pardon, and be machine bonny. By booster, Mother Dupella or long. We pay a long soon, soon, two pots, she, Nino, I am in Italy. I want you to continue on solemnly. Timo man she, fun daddy wa ni nule mude dupe lo wolo nupe oba ye mi pade lo ni. Ibere meta ni mama ibere mude mama ibere le arawoni turi ojo tilo. Ibere ya koko ni pe esoni ya koko pe kama ma ya juicy oko wa kama ma pashe fun kama ma fi uni liba musol. A koko o kuni to ba je wipe. Ti eyan ba ti fi ohun ni le ba won soro won kin fe ma gbo nkan ti eyan ba ba won so igba mi bi da de wa e on le so pe awon o fe lo si bi se le ni ma ni ah ma o ki lo de te so pe e lo bi si bi se eni ni monday ano e sha si si mi le ki lo de e ma lo won ani rara mo le ma ri customer so ma ma pe won pe kon wa ba won sise nkan kan on le binu pa phone on le ma da won yen lo kon ma lo question kg i'm not a computer thank you yes, number one oh. for such a man you'll be praying for him he is not the one doing that 
It is the devil. When there is no food at home, peace will be scarce. Health will be will be will be mild. Then nagging and fighting will come in. A reasonable man will not say will not go to work. Who should go to work? The man that will sit down at home and the wife will go to work. If there is not, if there is no work to do, it's an exceptional case. So please don't shout on him again. No. Be praying for him. And counsel him. I corrected the woman longest time ago. When the woman, when the woman took to the correction, she suffered for it. Amen. Amen. Because her husband would not give her money. Until the woman feigned that she was sick. So as soon as the woman hears the pim 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 at the gate, be all brave, but it go pim 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 or call call it. Those who are doing it amongst us now, they will laugh. <laughs> don't, don't worry, <laughs> they will laugh. You will see them. Amen. The woman will go and look for rope. Oh, bring you are no one rope. Put it in the eye. You okay, boy? Put it in the nose. You okay, mommy? And ask uh, three of her children. Our we are on momenta. Five blankets. Cover me. I show a man. See, the you. woman will still be shaking. Oh, bring your man. She said, thickness in the, in the church. Thickness for the devil. That one in you. <laughs> <laughs> the husband will say, Ah, hello, hello. I was a bony bony. I was a bony. I was a bony. I was a bony. I was What happened? You are not like this one. Mm -hmm. The thing just came suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. Oh, you buy again. Don't you have to go to the hospital? I like to go to the hospital. <laughs> Tomorrow, my fellow Lewis on Lola. Like, how much are we talking about now? A Lola wants somebody. If you can just see 20,000, we spend the time to know what they will say. But let me just hold. Go back to your boy, Beru. He shot your mount of vessel. And then the man will give her 20,000. A week after, let your second, she will terribly fall sick. Oh, bring our shots on total. And I told her, this thing is not paying you. Stop it. If you need money, tell this man, my husband, I need 10,000. And your husband is in the position of giving it. He's in the position of giving you the money. If he doesn't give you, that's wickedness. So stop it. Allow God to meet your need. And she started doing that for the first three months. Oh, she met a coco. She suffered more dear like no man's business. <laughs> because when the man got to know so man that, told you that this call. woman is not only factual, this woman is truthful. Things changed in a way. No pain, no gain. Yes, Thank you, sir. You very cagey, you pay. Me, uh, last week, uh, last week, Kent. I shake in a love is in a fellowship. So, go more what I shall have born. If I tell me why daily, but more realize mistake in which I will be more and more sorrow and one other sorrow. More any pay more be in Cocolo, only kill day to feature you pay a king for my love. church. No one need go see Coco. I want a little church, but I only love telling me no see you jot him on low. More any kill day. One course, killing your lady, she's too she's still going. One number one, if your husband is not willing to go to church, number one thing you can do, begin to pray for him. Not that you'll be praying loudly. Oh Lord, he's my stubborn husband. Mm. He says he wants to go to her. But never, not in my lifetime. <laughs> he will not go. Lord, deal with him. And the man is hearing you. He is not drinking before. He will go and be drinking. <laughs> before you meet him in the house. Now, 
You are, he's the one to meet you in the house. Things will change. Then the most important thing you have to do before such a man. The most important thing. Your lifestyle in Christ. When your attitude in Christ becomes winsome. The man will change. If you are praying in the church, you are praying at home, and you are still abusing the man, there's no difference. That's what he will say. One day, they were, they were taking mad people, about 20 of them. They were taking, they are getting well gradually. And so the, the psychiatrist was taking them around. And they were dancing. Once in Joe. So I stood, it was in the bottom. I went to greet my sister. I stood this way. I was looking at them. I was 1994. 1994. 1994. And then one of the mad people just deflected somewhere and was doing something. Then the leader who was saying who was okay he said oh, what are you doing there? You this madman go come and join your rest. That's what the madman said. He said, ah, 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 ah. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Say you don't know. The fellow that is that is making mad people to collect money. And the mad people that are collecting money, are they not the same? <laughs> and it don't come with a word day. I think we the fire. I want killing you at all. I am a judge. Have you come and talk with a bobo? I see any good attacking bobo. Only I would talk about. I would talk about. I am a judge. You don't want him. She. I would do. I want you to do the work. I say. I need. I want to come. I want. I want. I want. I want. Are you in the room? Where the now? The war. Only I write to you. I get caught on the human law. Lent here. I write to you. I tell you. I tell you. Follow. Amen. Our English speaking uh, audience. The madman said. The madman said. He that is making, he that is using mad people to collect money. And the one that is leading the mad people. I said, they are in the same complaint. He said, you and me, we are both mad. But are you in company of your friends? Are you not in company of mad people? <laughs> no, I, I never knew when I said it openly. Mm. I said this one is not a mad fellow again. No, sent to his people to come and pick him. He's already okay. <laughs> so your lifestyle, what you say. How you say it, what you do, how you do it, what you reject, how you reject it, your reaction, your interchange, interchangeable, you know, uh, characters. Very, very important. Last question. A time is fast spent. Last question. Iru Okunito Jaripe, Tiara in your bada. Thank you, ma. Praise God. You are sick as a wife. The husband pretends as if he doesn't see you. He won't even. Um, care for you. But if he is the one sick, he wants you to die and resurrect in caring for him. What do we do if you're a wife like that? Amen. Amen. This one is dicey. Amen. Amen. It's only an unbeliever that will see his wife sick and will not care for her. I like that. Or a backslider. A true believer will never ignore his wife if the wife is down. We never. We never. But if 
You have an husband like that who does not care for you whenever you are sick. Don't fight him. I kept on saying it. Fighting, argument, confrontation, and uh, nagging will still not solve the problem. You will now be praying for yourself not to get sick. You'll be, you'll be praying for yourself very well. I will, in this house, I won't be sick. And my children will not be sick. Then don't be a wife. Say, well, if my husband, God, you understand, eh, eh, say it too, that my husband will not be sick. Praise God. Hallelujah. If your husband does not take care of you, pray to God. You keep on believing God for a change towards his direction. Because force can never change any man. You will rather complicate issues. Force cannot change any man. Because the only language men understand is force. And if you want to force him to do anything, it becomes force Q. Force Q. Force raised to power two. So things will grow worse in the world. It is still prayer. And understanding. You need to understand the man. And be praying to God to change him. That's what you can do. God bless you, man. Thank you. This is the final question. Yes, come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Daddy, I pray for you in the name of the Lord. Your home will not scatter in Jesus' name. Amen. And the devil will not rejoice over your home in the name of Jesus. Amen. My question is this, sir. There are some character traits in the life of our husband. And as a wife, we are keeping it to ourselves. We can't even share it to anybody, even to their relatives to our pastor, but we are we know it and we are keeping it and we are enduring. But my question is this are there dangers in keeping silence? We are the type that are keeping silence. We can't tell anybody about what we are passing through and what we know about our husband. Are there dangers in keeping silence? Yes. Serious dangers. Not one, not two. Finally, I will still cancel that you don't gossip your husband around. But if you have a pastor like me, talk to me. To help you talk to your husband. By the grace of God, I will never scatter anybody's home. And men understand themselves better than women. If you keep quiet too much, by the time the danger comes, you won't be able to cuddle it. I think we'll continue on Friday from this question. God bless you abundantly. Amen.